the demos which are available in Psych Toolbox are extremely helpful. First of all, when you run them, you can easily test whether your system is strong enough to run Psych Toolbox or not, and where might be the issues. For example, if there is a problem with with a video card or with sound card or with your Windows, MATLAB, GNU Octave, whatever, uh, is the problem you will uh, be able to discover it. Second, it gives you an example of usage of various uh, Psych Toolbox functions combined in a logical way and each of those uh, scripts have a lot of uh, comments which explain to a great extent why each specific function is used at this part of the script and what does it give and the last you can take the demo slightly modified and it almost gives you a ready paradigm to run your specific experiment if you try to do something that is pretty similar to what is already prepared in in a particular demo. Uh, the information about Site to Box uh, demos can be found online on their web page, and uh, this is how it looks. Um, it is very easy to find. This is the web page, and you have a complete list of all the demos. There are a lot of them, uh, but I selected just a few very basic demos, uh, and I propose you to uh, follow me and to try right now a few of them. This is the list. Uh, the first one, dot demo, is going to show you moving colored multi-size dots. The script doesn't require any response from your side. It is just a demonstration that you can uh, easily generate some motion pattern. Uh, second, the second one is drift demo. It is an animated sinusoidal grayscale uh, grating which moves in a certain direction and it is ex also very easy to program. Uh, expanding rings give you colored rings that uh, expand from the center of the screen quite quite a nice example of how you can generate uh, segments, uh, sectors, badges, it's all, it all operates the same uh, sort of functions of Psych Toolbox. Uh, at the moment we will not go into the detail of uh, the internal structure of those demos. The functions will be discussed later in in the following day of our course. At the moment we, we will just try to run all of them <laughs> and to see if it works. Uh, 
Gabo Garborium Edimo. Quite a beautiful picture of randomly moving uh, gabber patches of different sizes. Uh, Kibi Demo is a very good demonstration of how uh, the, uh, the most used functions controlling uh, keyboard acquisition work. Uh, mouse trace demo is for uh, acquisition of the mouse motion. Uh, simple image mixing demo shows you how you can mix and manipulate images, how you can show them on the screen and uh, alter them gradually. And the last one, perhaps the most complex uh, in the sense of programming, play movies demo. In general, movies are difficult to work with, but this uh, script uh, hopefully will show you uh, how the, the videos can be uh, downloaded, transformed into objects, uh, textures, and shown on the screen with sound. Uh, that's the list. Now I will show you a few pictures of what you are going to see on uh, your screen. Those are just the screenshots, so those are dots. Uh, but they are going to move uh, in right direction when the program runs. This is the uh, the grating. Also, it's going to move. Here you see just just a static image. Those are the rings, the gabbers. Uh, Kiwi Demo, uh, the, this uh, blue dot is going to move uh, clockwise or anti clockwise as a function of what you press on the keyboard. The mouse tracing, you can draw different uh, traces on your screen with the help of your mouse and uh, the, the, the current position of the cur mouse cursor will be acquired and stored and later you can analyze the data if you are interested. This is how you mix the images of the noise and something about rabbits. And this is an example of just one shot of uh, the video that is going to be downloaded from the online stream and to be displayed on your computer. That's it. Let's start with dots. Uh, you can find a uh, Ex explanation of what it is uh, on the web page. So, don't demo. This is some details. Uh, but it is very easy to run it on your computer. Uh, it doesn't matter if you run it on MATLAB or on Octave. The dot demo is very is a very simple one and it's going to work. However, <laughs> I am not sure that uh, uh, the program I used to capture the screen will be able to to grab the psych toolbox screen. Therefore, I created the uh, the video. Uh, in advance so that I can show it to you and now 
uh, uh, in order to stop this uh, script, you press exit. Very simple. Uh, the next uh, uh, demo is drift demo. Uh, let's try it in Octave. Probably it's going to work anyway quite well. Yeah. At least I saw <laughs> the the drifting. Uh, the next one is expanding rings demo and it is also available online so this is the explanation and uh, interestingly that if you want to read the comments of the script itself you can open selection from your uh, common window and you get this specific file which is stored in the uh, psych demos folder and here you have explanations, comments and all the script you can modify you can play with it you can use portions of the script for your own script it's very very flexible and very useful so let's run it yeah hopefully you, you can see the same as is what I see now if you press escape you can terminate uh, the playback the next Garborium uh, Octave this time Yeah, nice looking little patches moving in all directions. Press escape and it will stop the playback. Uh, and if you want to see the details of this script, you can do exactly the same as previous time. You open selection and you go straight to this script not a big one less than 300 lines uh, the next is the key demo let's do it in MATLAB key First, uh, the script is going to decode the keys you press on the keyboard. Well, now I press space and the code is 30, for this key is 30, 32 and the name is space. You can press enter or return. It is decoded well. You can press few. Uh, letters, numbers, tab, shift, control. Uh, then you press escape in order to go to the next uh, stage of this demonstration. Now it's going to test your timing. Let's press spaces. You press it once, so it was five seconds since the onset of the counter. Thirteen seconds, fifteen seconds. It measures time passed from 
the beginning of this stage. Let's press again, 25 seconds now. Uh, and this time is quite precise. And during the next day we will discuss uh, carefully how to use all those important functions kibi check, kibi name, and so on. Now let's press escape to go kibi wait. It's going to hold the execution of the program until we hit any key. Now let's hit one. And at this moment, there must be a screen. Oh, finally it is unfrozen. And here, if I press my keys, I can move the, the dot. So let's try to run mouse trace demo in MATLAB no GVM mode. So here you have to hold the mouse button and then you can draw the screen and after you get a, a figure of what has been drawn. Uh, now let's try simple image mixing the demo in Octave. Hopefully it works well. Yes. So you can see that the image of the rabbits is masked and unmasked with a certain cycled cycle. Press escape and you go out of the demonstration. And the last one, it was quite painful for me because I failed to run it on MATLAB, but on Octave it worked well. Play Movies Demo. Uh, it ask, uh, asks us whether we select series or cool series it are just two moving dots and the cool one is from from the internet so let's type C for cool and hopefully if you press space you switch to other video <laughs> quite a stupid one but, uh, this is what is available So, at the moment, you have everything uh, I wanted to share with you by now. Uh, you see quite a lot of information uh, displayed in uh, the command window after you run the demos each time. Uh, at the moment, you just don't care what is shown here. Uh, the next day, when we discuss how to use specific functions, uh, I will also comment on what is displayed and uh, how it can be useful for, for you. Uh, don't expect from yourself and from myself to uh, be a uh, high-level expert in Psych Toolbox or MATLAB or programming. Our goal is not to understand everything what is available. We need to understand the basics and to be able to do what we need for our experimental purposes. Thank you for watching and see you next time.